Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day with the Traders. Thanks to Sportsbet. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Warn Dogs. And Calvin. Coach of Calvin Antoine. We're getting into the Saints. The Saints. Saints. Bit of Saints action. That is uh, where we're at on our club preview series. And they were a relevant team last year because of what they were able to put together. Mm. Yes. They were the team that had the most players average more than 90 points. Get yeah. Really? Get out. Really? Get out. I love that I, stat. I saw it. I went, oh, surely they're oh. the best. Flip through my little book. And you added them up. And I added them up. Well and they done, were the best. Dogs. They had six oh. Players average over Great 90. Stat steal. He added them up. <laughs> Great stat steal. And uh, GWS were the next best with five. Well, wow. wow. there you go. You're right. It's anyway, they had three over a ton. So let's get started there with okay. the big dogs. Mm-hmm. And Rowan Marshall was the biggest of dogs because he's pretty tall. And yeah. he had 115.8 average. Mm. That's up from a 91.3. So he increased $228,000 last year. Yep. A massive... Uh, <laughs> Do you call it a breakout? I guess it is because he hasn't yeah. really um, done that previously either. Like, we, that's we'd seen that he had the ability yeah, when yeah. he didn't used to have to play with Paddy. Yeah. Yep. And then he was given the reins and bang. I don't think we were surprised, were we? Are no. we seeing the same again next year? This year? Uh, yeah. Even? Yep. Yep. That's just how good he is. Yep. The durability was something that was great. Yep. The so, thing, I reckon he's got a little bit more to offer, Roy. Oh, yeah. 123 after his buy. Yeah. He's that good. Yes. He is that good. 123, actually 120 from round nine onwards. Yeah. Jet. Could you pick him? There's too much other rack value, I think. There is. There is. That's the problem. But, gosh, it would be a nice pod. Where's he going draft? Dropping 140s on people's head. High. He has to be behind uh, English, but... Or does he? Does he? Um, (laughs) He could be number two. Did you hear what I said? 123 after the buy, Dom. Mm. He's number two, isn't he? I think so. I don't know. I'm not a Timmy hater, but I like Marshall more than yep, English. Same. I just don't know why, but I do. Oh, because you didn't pick him last year. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> right, let's move along. The next one was old mate Brad Crouch. Cow, your boy. My boy. Your brother's boy. Yeah. Brother, what? God, I feel the like Brad must off. be about 38 years old. He's the old. better brother, let's anyway, be honest. Anyway, he's, yeah. he's been pretty good, really. Like, since he he's, has. Um, it, he's he's always been good. We fantasy loved him. Fantasy years. wise, and since he's been at the Saints, so um, yeah, he's he went one hundred three point three the year before was one hundred six point four and ninety five point two. So that's what his output has been there. And I think he's yeah that low hundreds type dude yep. that will just get it done. Mm. Um, he went one twenty plus six times last year, and so one thirty three, one thirty seven were his best there. So he has a bit of a ceiling. Was frustrating for some coaches. Yeah, got it together later. Like that was sort this of. This is what the his problem with Brad like. too. And then you almost force your hand to bring mm. him in, and he'll whack a real low one mm. out of nowhere. He will, mm. but yeah. more often than not, he's a jet. So, not really classic relevant for us no. for our starting sides. No, no. It might come a time where you'd like him at some point because he's got himself cheap. But it's going to be draft, and I. Just keeping him that 103-ish yes. yep. average, yep. therefore. That's where I'll draft him. Mm-hmm. Um, now, Jack Sinclair was the third of the Saints. Now, his career is an interesting one. So, seven seasons, mm. sub-80 average in all of those. Yeah. And then just went bang mm. and went pretty well because he's uh, went 102, well, basically 102, 103 the last two years. Yeah. yeah. Like, ridiculous upside, like 20-plus, so and just went and did that. So... Um, he's played every game. He's just a reliable dude. He is. He, he just um, – someone unlocked some mega confidence in him. Mm. Yeah. And he realised how good he could be. He's a jet. He's a jet. And he's relevant as well. Yeah. I, well, I rank him as my second best defender. Yeah. Like, I, I, he's ahead of Sick Dog for me. Oh, <sighs> without a doubt. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, but yes. every that's, every day and that's every what day. your ranking is. Like you're yeah. going, your day cost is your first defender off the yeah. board, Sinclair. And therefore, look, I, you don't love paying up, you know, for yeah. a player like that could be fully priced as such, but he's a lock for the second defender for me, yeah. I think. And the fact they don't have the early an early buy, yeah. do they? It's no. nice. Because I wouldn't, in a normal season, be starting with Sinclair at that price. Yeah. Mm. But given he doesn't have that, agree. that's a bit of a cherry at the moment. Look, I, I agree that he's number two and six, probably number three. But oh, that's not much fun, is it? That. 
You gotta have fun, Roy. If you don't have fun with sick. You, you do. don't have to, you yeah. have fun just, with Sinclair. Just nah. his upside doesn't make it always fun. It is because there is an outweighing of fun. You imagine sitting Not down fun. on Sunday afternoon on the couch. <laughs> Getting yourself ready to watch Sick Dog and you just don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. And that's not it brings cool. anxiety. It that's, does. That's fun. Chest starts tightening it up. It does. And then he starts sucking. Yeah, and then it, yeah. And he actually mans up on someone and then your Sunday's wrecked. That's true. Please pick Leads into your whole week. Your week's wrecked. He's not off the radar. That's not fun. So they were our 100 plus players. Now, Jack Steele. He's priced at 97.9. Now, that's his lowest oh. price at point since 2019. Jeez. So, the two years before this was a 110 and that big 121.4, where he was the joint Dane Swan medalist with old Took when they both went 120 plus there. Um, hitting zone, he was injured a bit last year. He was. And you could tell. You could watch him. Mm. And I don't know if there's any stats on him and body language and things, but not even body yep. language. It was more about you could just tell he wasn't right. Yeah, and no, you're right. The yeah. body language did then come with that. Yeah. There's a flow on effect. So if he is going to be right for this season, there is no... <laughs> you should be launching. There is no world where he doesn't do 100 plus. Agree. Agree. And that is could he, be that 110. But is he still the man of steel? No, look, because you'd look at the numbers and you'd say, we'll put that down to injury. You should be excited to launch into that. Yeah. No yeah. early buy. Yep. Capable of 120. In the last three years, has gone under 110 once, and he's at that price. Yeah. I'm I'm scarred. But I don't know. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I'm with you. He hurt me last year. i got no year. faith in this. He made my chest tight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't do it. No. Have, have you sat in, he's in, in your my team? team. He's yeah, in there. and I can yeah. see why. I Great. don't he hasn't understand act, why. He hasn't really left it. I don't know if we start getting a little bit of bias because of the teams that we are covering for yeah, the preseason. That yeah, happens. we're doing these podcasts. We're writing mm. the AFL record. We're doing yes. the articles. Everything there. I just like him a lot, and I, I'm an old man that gets sucked into this bloke's been there before. Yeah, yeah. That is one of my. See, I think that we've got to get away from that. Yeah, no. we need, we need to sit down as a crew and work out. We want to find the next best thing, not just keep going back to old faithful. Cal. That's true. She and it helped if he wasn't his. so bloody good looking, though. That, I know, like that tricks me. <laughs> and he's got he's, he's got a mo. Yeah, he's yeah. got a mo. That's the thing at the moment. It's just a soft spot at the moment. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you two are rocking great mo's. I can't wait. <laughs> You're going to get yours mo. out, aren't you? I've got a mo. She's got a beard with it. Um, right. This was a question okay. for afl.com.au, so make sure you click on the article. Okay. Jeez, it was a good one, too. Who wrote? Oh, that was me. Right. Nassau, no. What? Oh, hang on. We're back there in a minute. Oh. Jack, Sing, uh, Jack Steele, what will he average in 2024? Back to his best, around 120. Jeez. Near his best, around 110. Be similar again, around 100. Oh. Make a call. Because I'm hurt, I'm going similar again, around 100. Wow. Yeah. And do you know what? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if it was 88. Oh, That's how oh, much he hurt what? me. <laughs> Dead set. It wouldn't surprise me. Do I think that will happen? No. But if it happened, I'd be like, yeah. So you've got so which one are you? I'm going to put him near his best at I'm going, 110. I'm going 104. Average. So you're going to have that down. At the, we'll be similar again. I'm going yeah. similar again. I'm going similar again. He turns up. He goes 100. What obviously. the hell happened last year? I don't know. He, he was sore. But he, there was that he still played going 20 on. games. Look, I know we're not allowed. How to, sore was he? I know we're not allowed to comment on players' what do you weight, mean, was he? right? <laughs> okay, but he looked skinny. He was skinny. He wasn't tough, no. Jack Steele. And they talked about it like it was a positive thing. Yeah. Oh, he shed all this weight. I was like, what? Oh, what Put that, that back on <laughs> and publish it. <laughs> Tell us how big he is. All right. He, oh, he was unrecognisable. Did you see? Yeah, there I know. was a video of him um, skating. Skating? Really? And I thought it was Tony Hawk. He was so skinny. <laughs> was he that good, though? Oh, he was pretty good. Pop an ollie? <laughs> yeah, he kickflip. Pop, he did a couple Speaking of Speaking of Tony Hawk, got the big demon a um, switch for Christmas. Oh. Oh, you're on. I got Tony Hawk. Yeah, <laughs> you did. I have played way more hours than she has. Yeah. I love it. It used to be great at that game. Right, far out. 
I haven't lost it. Like, that's muscle memory. Has it still got Goldfinger? Yeah, it's got all the songs oh, and some new ones. Classic. Yes, please. Oh, back the Sora Wanganing oh. Miller would have played some oh. Tony Hawk, I reckon. Yeah. And he's at 824 I like this guy a lot. Which prices him at 91. Okay, so he had a massive breakout there. He had a bit of a slower start to the season he where he's sort of... Uh, had some 70s yep, and a yep. couple in the 60s and Finding a 50. That all happened before the buy. And then went close to basically 99 for the rest of the season. So one thing I like about him, but I didn't like it at the time because, Roy, you were an <laughs> yeah. owner and I was not, but he is hungry. He, he likes is hungry. the ball. And one of the reasons for that is he would run 50 metres to yep. take a kick in. Yep. And... <laughs> And Roy would let us know about it. So he had the most for the Here Saints, the most kick-ins. He had 104. Shared that with Sinclair, who had 90. So they pretty much okay. Well, about you know, 50-50. Could that change a bit? Like, could he just be the man that's doing that? Yeah. He could be. Moving forward. I just had a flashback. Oh, here we yeah, go. Yeah, what? Remember? Yes, that's what my head was doing. I was Remember right when he ran? Yeah. There was, what, 10 seconds left? It was ridiculous. I had that league match-up. With, uh, I had a with me versus in. dog for the vest as well. And he junked hard the last five minutes. And then he did that sprint, the 50-metre <laughs> sprint for the last kick of the game. And he stepped out of the he square. He stepped out and he got it on the boot. Uh, oh, that, was a, that was a highlight of my thing year. is, though, he only played off 80% guy. of the time. So there's some upside in that yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah, like nah, some of he's, our... he's currently in my team. Is he? Yeah, yeah, he's so in mine as well. Where does so... he go from that ninety-one then? Oh, I think he goes to the the hundred, the ninety-nine that he finished yeah, after the buy. What does that mean for Sinclair? Then? Well, that's the thing. Um, I've got him over Sinclair in my team at the moment wow. because I yeah, You've got I to think, have one of them. I think. I think he offers obviously the value. And he's priced just, at ninety-one. He's just like he's like sick dog, but with safety. Oh, never heard of such thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. He now, only provides happiness. Now, yeah. before we move on, I love it. Um, this caught my eye a week or so ago. Was yep. from DC. Okay, legend of the fantasy community is DC Caterpillars. Um, the Saints have just four, five of fourteen games at home pre buy, so that's at Marvel mm. before finishing with eight of nine games oh. there. Okay, now, he did some home and away splits here for players, and this is interesting. Sinclair at Marvel, 105. Sinclair away, 98. Okay. A little bit of a difference. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, really. Wanganine Miller, uh, 95 at Marvel and 85 away. Mm. So there was a 10. Yeah, that point. doesn't surprise me at all. He loves Marvel. Marvel, yeah. Jack Steele, 104 at Marvel, 86 away. This... Oh. There is a lot of irrelevant stats out there. Okay. This is highly relevant. Very relevant. This is game changing for me. Yep. This is a great bit of work. So what you're DC. saying, Dog, is Follow at DC Caterpillars. I'm not having any, any of them. They score more at Marvel. A that's lot what Dog's more. saying. They score more at Marvel. Well, and that's early on. It make, makes sense. Common yeah. sense. Yeah. Under the lid. I would play better. Yeah. Inside. Hundred <laughs> percent. Right. Early on, they're not at Marvel much. At the end of the year, they're there. The whole time. Goodness. Maybe they're just post-buy targets all of a sudden. Well, well, well. All right. All right. It's making me think, and I don't like that. <laughs> we are narrowing ourselves down to picking. No one with an early buy, yep. and now <laughs> Saints have a better draw in the second half of the year. Okay. So we've got to wipe them out of our oh, shopping list now. All right. Who else you got, dog? All right. Uh, a couple <laughs> of things. I, I wanted just to flag these guys. Mason Wood, average 92. Yeah. Woody. What about his start? Yeah. He was on. So, like, he's just a an overs guy mm. that I don't love for draft nah. there and that sort of stuff. The other one, though, and this is the biggest one, Callum Wilkie. Wilkie. What did oh. he average last year? Wilk dog. You've actually probably got it in front of you. Uh, what did he average? I don't know. 87. <laughs> now. That's good. Okay. So, he's the 16th best defender ranked on average. Mm-hmm. Okay. That... Was a breakout for him. Eighty-seven points was twenty points, or yeah. almost twenty points, better than what he'd done in the past. So he's been. So those Saints defenders, they can really yeah. get amongst the marks. It can give any of them a big boost on any given game. I remember this Wilkie chat because it was around round five. He was yeah. averaging ninety-four. Yeah, Sounded like coming off. Roy had start putting his role in twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he had three tons in a row, and people were like, "Do we get on Wilkie?" And we're like, "I don't think so." Yes, thirty-five the next week. 
Yeah. And he had some shockers. Followed there. by a 91 or 101. Like, he was he was good. Like, I don't know if a true thing is. What did he do in the first final? 43. Yeah. Like, that's just a massive overs. I just, it's a flag. Oh, it's a just huge flag. He, still, he's, he will not be the 16th best defender nah, this year. He'll still do 80s. He gets marks. Mm-hmm. He's not as bad as you think. All right, a couple of people that might improve a little bit this year. Mitch Owens, I just think he's a yep. bit of a gun a player, at 74. Yeah. With Ford status, thinking draft, you know, we want those players. It yep. could be yeah, that 80, for sure. which he could be. Yep. Uh, Hunter Clark as well. So um, he had an injured three and had two vests. Like, it was a 30 in one of those. So he's, he's 68. But he's a straight mid. Hunter Clark? Yeah. Oh, is he? Yes, yes. He is. Every year we talk about Hunter. Yeah, I know. I think he's if, still a defender. Yeah, if, if he was, then he makes... Re- yeah. He's obviously relevant here, but I'd, as a mid, yeah. probably mm. not. No. Yeah. He doesn't have a ceiling, though. No. He had no. one ton, and that took Poor 10 dude. tackles to do it. Yeah. Who I do doesn't like with defender runner. status, though, is Marcus Windhager, 63, Windy. to improve. He is winning the rig battle this season. I don't know. Have a look at the St. Kilda. Yes. Yeah, Social. I saw that. Have you had a, did you see the one they released, the first shirtless one they released of him? Yeah, pre-Christmas. Pre-Christmas. That one's on the wall. Um. Go, yeah, <laughs> go back to it, though. There's like a bulldog oh. on his <laughs> gut. <laughs> really? Like he's six-pack in that make up a bulldog head. No way. Dead set. I'm Have looking, a look at it. Oh, it's the first thing I saw. I was like, damn. Give me something to do this afternoon, the Roy. dog is staring uh, at me. Zach Ooh. Jones, he... Uh, had a 55 average, price at 54 because he gets a little discount. I don't know. Zach Jones, he's still playing. Yeah. But Paddy Dowroy. Oh, now we've got to we're talk talking. about Paddy Dow. We do have to talk about Paddy. 56.7 is his average from his 10 games. There's some vests in there. Yeah. There's a bit going on. Where is he going to sit? What's he doing? Well, a 70 plus average. Is he a midfielder? Is yes. he getting CBAs? Yes, he is. All right. He's, yeah, he walks into their midfield. So his non-sub-affected games last year, because five of them were subs. So yeah. out of those ten, five were subs. That's half, Cow. That is half, <laughs> correct. Tick that off. He's average 80 for those. So yeah. 20 points better yeah. um, than that yes. average. And where he is. Yes. So what do you reckon? Can he be an 80-plus midfielder? Yes. No. He can. He's got the so? ability. Yeah, no. 100% he can. He had some good VFL numbers. Yeah, he is a good player. He just he, needs the right environment for him. And he's, he's, I think he's got it. He's draft. like an easy in a pinball machine, Roy. Yeah, I he know. Might bulk up. No. I think I think they need him at St Kilda and he's going to score. And Colton but, didn't. No, they don't. No, that is true. Um seventy five minimum. Minimum. Minimum for Paddy. Right. We've said And some... he could be pleasantly Surprising. Do you still have your blue glasses on here? No, no. We're talking a high draft pick who can rack up in the VFL. Okay. VFL's a proper league. Yep. To average 80 for Colton where you were looked at as like just a bit of a dud, to be honest, <laughs> filling in, and he still did that in his non best so games. if you've got him at a minimum of 75, yes. that's basically a 20-point upside. Yes, correct. Is he worth picking? He'll easy go 20 Midfielders points. are hard to... I think you need to take more than 20 points from a midfielder. A mid-price one? Yeah. Of course. 20 points upside. Yeah. So 20 it, points? Yeah. So there might not be room for him, but he will be, yeah, 20 points upside minimum. Minimum? Yeah. What's the ceiling on that upside? Look, Paddy could surprise. <laughs> You've surprised me already. He what? could go 85. <laughs> 85? He's not a dud. Pick him. What will he do? What could he do in a practice game? <laughs> Big. <laughs> that could make you pick him. Big. Roy. Wow. Right, we're going to wrap this up. What? Why is everyone going quiet on I Paddy? Just, Do just, you think that's no, an I, out there statement? I think it's a little bit high. I'd like to hear what other people could think about Paddy, to be honest. Well, okay. Hit us up on social. Mm. Tell us that. But before we do finish totally, we better talk about some kid. That's Darcy Wilson, mid-forward. Yes. So he might be a chance at some point. But 249K, 71 average in the under-18 champs if they give him. They've blooded kids. Like yep. Saints have done mm. that. So um, see what that is. But, yes, if you want to talk about Paddy Dow. Mm. See, I've got true. no hard feelings with Paddy. There's just no room for him at Carlton. Okay. 85 average. <gasps> I didn't say he's going to average 85. I said he... 
could. Head to <laughs> afl.com.au to read the article, vote in that poll, and make sure you're following us on socials. And if you listen to us on a podcast platform, make sure you're following us, like, subscribe, rate, all, all that, that stuff too. You've been listening to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. For more expert advice from the traders, head to afl.com.au slash fantasy. Yeah.